The Legend of Zelda The Twilight Princess is a game filled with plans of Wednesday afternoons of a great exciting time while sitting on the big sofa with a cutting pouch of Ganon jelly beans next to uh, seriousness. The game is promoting vital darkness for your soul. We love Zelda, but the game has a pure black spot that spins us out as a programming selection to make us into evil spirits. The game has the prettiest art to date, and I think what really racks my information is the texting so much. The music, on the other hand, is involving well, swell, sweet, and scandal melodies for us ears to listen to. As the heaven whisper spanks you that much harmony that the scenes can pull you in as the track spanks you again. It's brushed aside to make it quick because it does have a lot of storylines, but the game is pretty displayed to look at. I'm seriousness. I love the creativity more than the modern Zelda games. The art's more visual and darker. It has an explicit mode for us teens to look at with the emo shattering passion. So in other misguiding words, the art factor is psychating beautiful. Very newly engulfed to make your heart shiver with a solid grappling hook. The music of Salvation in the game is cheered up closer to the end. I can't say no more. Play it for yourself or Zelda will be possessed. She will eat your brightening soul for lunch and I'm dead serious. And give this game a 9.6 slash 10 fair rating. IGN give it a 9.5 so I'll check it out. Just be warned. Some scenes will have darkish moments. Just saying. Love the breed.